yes. That does sound like my Ito. So, did they take Uncle Ito away? Yes, they did. But don't be too upset, Daisuke. We will have the chance to see him again. He and his gang may have acted recklessly, but the fact remains that he still helped us. Yeah, I knew it! Uncle Ito helped us, and he's awesome! Now, don't get any ideas, Daisuke. Ito is a far cry from awesome. He still caused a lot of trouble for a lot of people. If you ask me, I'd say he's like one of those little Oni Kabuto you kids are playing with all the time. Though he looks fierce on the outside, he has a kind heart. He's not a delinquent, but he'll never back down from a fight. Uh, I don't really get it, but it sounds like a compliment. I can't wait for my next beetle fight with Uncle Ito. Thank you, Granny, for taking care of our little boy. I hope that Ito and his friends will be released as quickly as possible. Yes, you needn't worry. The officials in the Tenryo Commission will certainly exercise sound judgment. It's time we started heading back. We'll be sure to visit again soon. Ah, I'm glad that everything was resolved in the end. Things were looking quite dire, but now the future looks bright. Wonderful, wonderful. As for the Blue Oni, just leave them to me. If there's one thing an old granny like myself can do, it's caring for others. Do you need our help? <laughs> no, no. Go on ahead. I'm sure you have other adventures beckoning. Besides, once Ito is released, he'll be here to help me. Oh, yes. And you know what? I think that's what makes him adorable. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> He does whatever he puts his mind to. He's sincere, brave, and determined. Back when I took him in, everyone thought I was most unusual indeed. They started calling me Granny Oni. But I've never been ashamed of this name. On the contrary, I'm quite proud of it. Because Ito is my pride and joy. A long, long time ago, in a village lost to time, there lived a crimson oni and a blue oni. They were the best of friends. The crimson oni wanted to be friends with the humans, so the blue oni played the role of the naughty kid. And then he left. After a long time, the crimson oni was living happily with the humans, but in his heart, he wanted to bring the Blue Oni back home. The Crimson Oni didn't know where to find the Blue Oni. His search took him up the highest mountains and across the widest rivers. He found many traces of the Blue Oni, but the more he found, the clearer it became. The Blue Oni was hiding on purpose. So just as the blue Oni had once done, the Crimson Oni left him a letter. Dear Al, I've made lots of human friends now, and I want to have a big party for everyone. I want all my friends to be there. That means you too, Al. If you don't want to meet me, you can just watch from a distance. The blue Oni snuck back to the village and hid in the shadows. He saw the great feast and roaring fire, and longed to join in. But though his stomach rumbled, the blue oni remembered the oath of old, and kept his distance. Suddenly, he jumped! The crimson oni was right behind him! <laughs> hey, you're finally back! Come on, I'll introduce you. It's time everyone met my best friend. Hey, Traveler! Remember that pit at the bottom of the chasm? You know, the one that the giant pillar smashed into. Paimon took a quick peek before we left last time. 
There is some kind of light coming from inside. Don't you think that's a little strange? Oh, so you've been wondering about that too, huh? Now that we have some time on our hands, let's go and take another look. 